Hi, this is Ramesh. I am gonna write a Java program to perform arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division by using lambda expression. Right click new and create a class and let's name it as lambda example one. All right. And as we know that lambda expression is an anonymous function which we can use to implement a functional interface. If you are new to the lambda expression and functional interfaces, please visit my previous video tutorials where I have shown you all about lambda expression and functional interfaces. So as we know that we use a lambda expression to implement a functional interface. So first we create a functional interface. So I am going to create a fun, you know interface here interface and let's name it as arithmetic okay and here what we will do we will create a method called operations and here i am going to provide a method argument int a int b and we can just annotate this uh, interface with add functional interface annotation okay so that uh, we can confirm that this interface is a functional interface even we can skip this annotation uh, because functional interface is an interface it has only one abstract method and compiler will treat it as a functional interface once we create a functional interface now let's go ahead and let's perform arithmetic operations so just i'm going to quickly create a main method here and first we'll see how to implement this interface using anonymous class so first we will say addition operation arithmetic arithmetic equals new arithmetic this is the anonymous class implementation of arithmetic interface and here what we will do we will just return a plus b ok so this is the addition addition operation alright great and next what we will do we will just call the operation method and we pass here 10 20 and this will print in a sysout just uh, type the message here like addition and here just close this okay and just run this program and here you can see addition of 10 plus 20 30 all right this is how we basically uh, write uh, you know anonymous class to implement arithmetic operation let's convert this anonymous class implementation into a lambda expression so look at here how i am doing so as we know that lambda expression is an anonymous function and it doesn't have any name so what we'll do we'll remove this name up to here okay so look at here how i am converting anonymous class implementation into lambda expression so delete this and we give a arrow here because lambda this is the lambda expression syntax and we delete this okay okay now this is the lambda expression and even we can make it even more shorter because it has only one statement so we can also remove this open and close curly braces okay and even we can also return uh, remove the return here okay so this is the lambda expression even we can remove the type here all right so look at here how our lambda expression looks like it is pretty concise and neat right within a single line we can perform arithmetic operation like this let's run the program and let us see the output so look at here it gives a same result let's do it for uh, subtraction multiplication and division so here what i will do i will just create again a arithmetic reference here i am going to now call it as subtraction and here what we'll do we'll first create an anonymous implementation and here what we will do a minus b okay and here we need to just call the operation method on
subtraction object 20 minus 10 let's run the program and let us see the output so look at here the subtraction is 10 20 minus 10 is 10 and let's replace this anonymous implementation with a lambda expression all right let us see how to do it so what we can do here is we just remove this name because lambda expression don't have any name let's delete this and let's delete this curly brace and here we need to provide a syntax provide the arrow here so this is the lambda expression right and now we, even we can make it more shorter it contains only one statement so let's go ahead and let's remove the open and curly braces like this and here when we can remove the return because it has only one statement and let's remove the type here from the parameter this is how the you know lambda expression looks like it is concise and neat right great let's go ahead and let's run the program and here is the output it's pretty simple right so similarly let's go ahead and let's do it for division okay so similarly we will first see the anonymous implementation of arithmetic interface new arithmetic all right and now this is a division operation here we need to provide a logic like a division b like this and here just let me provide a sysout so division operation right and here i'm going to call operation method on division object and just provide 20 10 all right so let's go ahead and let's run the program and let's see the output so look at here 10 divided by 20 divided by 10 it gives 2 now let's replace this anonymous implementation of arithmetic interface with lambda expression so it's pretty easy replace this name and again I delete this and again provide here an arrow all right and it contains a single statement so let's go ahead and let's remove open braces and curly braces like this and even we can also delete the return delete the type of the method argument so look at here this is the our lambda expression so let's go ahead and let's run the program and here is the output all right so similarly let's do it for you know uh, multiplication again create a object of arithmetic interface like this so this is the anonymous class implementation of arithmetic interface and here we are going to perform multiplication operation right a into b and here what we will do this is the multiplication and here i will provide a sysout to just print the multiplication operation it's pretty simple so in this way you can get a hands-on experience so here i'm going to call operation method again and here i'm going to pass you know 10 20 so this will give us a 200 result so let's run the program and here you can see the output this is the multiplication now let's go and let's you know uh, replace this anonymous implementation with lambda expression so as usual lambda expression don't have name so let's go and let's delete this part and give here arrow and it has only one statement so let's go ahead and let's remove the curly braces and close braces and even we can also uh, you know, remove the return statement and type up the method argument like this it's pretty simple so let's go ahead and let's run the program and here is the output all right so this is how we write a lambda expression for you know to implement a functional interface Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to view more videos on Java ecosystem. Click click the thumbs up to like our video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.